Hello, everyone. I just want to look at a couple of remarks from George Fitzhugh's Cannibals All. Um, this is a very challenging work, and uh, just want to give you a sense of, you know, my own interest in it, I guess. Um, this is the beginning of the, this is a quote right from the beginning of the excerpt. We are all, north and south, engaged in the white slave trade. And he who succeeds best is esteemed most respectable. It is far more cruel than the black slave trade because it exacts more of its slaves and neither protects nor governs them. Fitzhugh had a very, uh, you know, definite idea that uh, the, the northern factory worker was worse off than the southern slave. Now, that seems to be the, the definite root idea here. Um, that the northern factory worker is more exploited and more miserable than the southern slave. Uh, black people who are enslaved in the south are better off, he says, than white people who are, he would say, and does say, are slaves themselves. Slaves in all but name. How could he say such a thing? Um, uh, well, um, it's kind of interesting in the sense that he, in 1857, as an American, he, he sounds like Marx. He's, we'll read later. You know, the exploitation of labor. The idea is that the, the white uh, factory worker in the North, typically a man, goes to work and works maybe 12, 16 hours a day um, and is paid wages and um, the pittance that, that he's paid, he has to take care of his family and himself and, um, is uh, exploited. I think that he'd have, to, he'd have to admit that black people, their labor was exploited. There's, there's no question about it. But his point is, or his claim is, let's say, that um, it's worse off, you're worse off being a factory worker because um, you're paid wages but no one takes care of you. If you're a, a slave, then someone is appointed to take care of you. And, and his idea is you're better off. Um, where he says it is far more cruel than black, the black slave trade because it exacts more of its slaves and neither protects nor governs them. So this is a very interesting view here. The view that um, you're better off if someone is protecting you and governing you, basically owning you, which goes against every principle from the Declaration of Independence, the Declaration of the Rights of Man, the uh, Constitution, um, everything that we've read. And so, in a way, Fitzhugh is, just in this very opening sentence, um, kind of denying kind of everything that we've been reading so far, you know, where the rights of individuals and their freedom is the most important thing. Where Fitzhugh is saying, seems to be implying that the most important thing is not to be free um, you know, politically, but to have some sort of protection, perhaps. It's more of a medieval view. And as far as I understand, what Fitzhugh is really doing is defending uh, the American South, the culture, economy uh, of the American South, saying that it, in many ways, has advantages over the North and so that Southern society was obviously a medieval society in many ways, in the sense that it didn't recognize, the United States really didn't recognize the freedom, the individual worth and the autonomy of, the, of all individuals. How could it? Um, what we'll see this week is that, you know, there, there's protest, protest on the part of a black person who is, uh, gotten out of slavery and is trying to get rid of slavery. And then we'll see later protests from women who both feel exploited and excluded from, what do we call it? Uh, freedom, enlightenment, um, liberty, being a citizen. So it, it's, it, you know, it, this, the, this view from Fitzhugh um, seems to ignore all that. Like, like, um, seems to be purely kind of like looking at the North of the so-called free North and saying things aren't really better for people there. 
factor worse. Now, that's a claim. As we'll see, he, Fitzhugh makes some outrageous claims about the state of people living in slavery, black slaves in the South, about how happy they are. We'll have to see that. Um, and I think they're clearly wrong. But that's his claim, is that people are better off in regular old slavery than they are in the sort of capitalist slavery that exists. It's beginning to exist in the North. 